In this video, we'll add additional shapes and templates to our tunnel. When creating our tunnel design, one of our main concerns is interpolation or ensuring that we have a smooth transition from shape to shape. In order to do this, we need to follow two rules, and that is that the shapes you want to interpolate between need to have the same name as well as the same number of nodes. So keep that in mind as we go through the rest of the video, and we'll get into more detail on that. So the first thing we want to add to our tunnel is a new template. So we'll go back into the Tunnels tab in the Create group. We want to create a template. We'll go ahead and call this Template 2. And we're going to assign it to the same tutorial tunnel. We're not going to copy anything for now, but we'll assign it to Station 20. Now, we'll see that our tunnel disappears here from the 3D view as well as the tunnel view. And the reason for that is we assigned this template to station 20 and there's no geometry, so there's nothing to interpolate to. So our first template exists at station 0, but it can't go on beyond that. Within template 2, we're going to create another shape and we'll call it shape 2 and we'll assign it to the, the tunnel and the template we just created. We are going to copy our shape 1 from template 1 and we want to make this uh, kind of a bigger copy of it. So we're going to offset it by 1 meter. We'll go ahead and create OK. We'll see our shape editor opens with the new shape if we want to do any edits. Uh, in this case we don't. Go ahead and open the tunnel view. You'll notice we still don't have anything here. We still just have our shape at station 0. Go to station 20 and we can see shape there. But we don't have any interpolation. The reason for that being is that first rule, we need these shape names to be the same. So we'll go ahead in here and we'll open the properties of this shape. We'll change that to shape 1. Now you see our tunnel mesh comes back and you can see we have this gradual interpolation going from this smaller shape to a larger shape. We can also see that in the tunnel view here, starting at station 0. You can see as we slowly scale up all the way to station 20 where we stay constant. That's just a quick demo showing off interpolation between geometrically similar shapes. We'll continue to work with this tunnel and see more interpolation where our second rule applies in following videos.